Hi everyone, and welcome to Eric's Electronics Workbench. So I want to show you something that the software designers at Hewlett Packard hid in the firmware of this 54600B oscilloscope. So of course something like this is known as an Easter egg, it's definitely not documented in the user manual. Now the 54600B oscilloscope is part of a series of digital scopes that Hewlett Packard manufactured during the 1990s. And all of the scopes in this series look similar, they just have different technical specifications. So this particular model is a dual channel 100 megahertz scope. So I'll go ahead and get it powered up here. Now, these oscilloscopes tend to be a little bit overlooked nowadays, but they're very capable scopes. They're easy to use, and they have a lot of nice features in them. So I definitely recommend, if you're looking for an attractively priced oscilloscope, consider one of the models in this series. Now, it's not the fanciest looking scope on the front panel. There's no indicator lights, so a little bit sparse, you know, when it comes to the indicators. But again, it's very easy to use, and you'll find the menu system, you know, easy to navigate through. Now this particular scope has a calibration sticker on the front panel dated from 1997, so it's a NIST traceable calibration that Hewlett Packard made on this scope. And I don't know if the oscilloscope left the factory with that calibration or if it was returned back to Hewlett Packard after it was purchased to be recalibrated, but again in 2025, you know, as I'm making this video, this oscilloscope is pushing nearly 30 years old. But it works very, very well, and I purchased this as used surplus in the early 2000s, and it's worked flawlessly all the years that I've owned it. So I've put a lot of time on this scope, and it's never needed any servicing or any maintenance whatsoever. So let me just grab this coax cable right here. I'll just plug this into channel one right here. Like that. So one thing that I like about this scope, there's quite a few things actually that I do like about it, but one of the things is that the scope is, has a very responsive feel when you're using it. It's very quick. So for example, if I hit auto scale, very quickly pulls up that signal, so that's a 10 megahertz um, sine wave that's coming from my um, GPS disciplined oscillator right now. And if I hit uh, the time measurement right here and then just go to frequency, very quickly has the frequency readout and uh, the markers that come up, so you know, very quick to make the measurement. And you could go over here to voltage, and then you could go voltage peak to peak, you get a second measurement right there. And while you have those measurements that are active, if you make a change to the sweep time like so, you can see it responds very quickly. So it has a very nice feel to the oscilloscope. So again, it's very easy to use, just a really nice all around digital scope. Now, of course, the hardware that's inside this scope, when you compare that to something that's modern, yes, of course, it's dated at this point. But for the price that these scopes go for, it's, you know, it's a very good deal, really. It's, uh, it's a very nice scope. And you can see this Tektronix oscilloscope right here that's sitting below. So it's a TDS 380. I'm a fan of Tektronix oscilloscopes, and I own quite a few of them. But this TDS 380, by comparison, has a much jumpier feel to it, particularly when it's making uh, measurements, just like this is doing right now. So when you turn on those measurements, and then you make adjustments like this, the oscilloscope almost has like a stuttery feel. It's not nearly as that smooth, responsive feel. So, you know, definitely give uh, props to Hewlett Packard for back in the day making the scope work the way that it does. So, of course, now you think I'm plugging this, you know, Hewlett Packard scope, all of, you know, talking about it and, and how great it is, and you're thinking, well, get on, what's the, uh, the hidden firmware? Well, the actual part of the firmware that's hidden in here has really nothing to do with the oscilloscope functions, but uh, it's kind of interesting that they went ahead and, and put this in there. Oh, and one other thing, too, these oscilloscopes have modules that can be added, and this one does have the module. It adds extra functions like FFT and math functions. Uh, so if you have a chance to buy one of those modules, and they're, they're on the used market, they're easy to find, um, I would definitely recommend adding that to the oscilloscope because it adds even more capabilities. All right, so as far as the hidden Easter egg that's in this oscilloscope, well, all you have to do is hit Print Utility. I'm just going to take this cable off here to get out of the way. But once you're in that Print and Utility menu right here, you just hit the second and third buttons like so, and we have a classic game of Tetris. So how cool is that? Hit that in here. Now you can actually turn this knob right here and that'll move like so, and then you can go side to side, or you can use uh, rotate right here, and then you can move right like that, and then if you go like that and hit advance, it'll drop it down. So you can go over here, move this over a little bit, and then you go to advance, and it drops it down quickly. So yeah, there you go. They, uh, they snuck a game of Tetris into the oscilloscope.
And of course you can change the level right here. I think if you press, it doesn't want to change now. You might have to quit the game and then change the level or the game has to, you know, right when it starts, if you change the level, then it goes from beginner, intermediate, advanced. There's a number of different levels. So anyway, yeah, there you go. Uh, just if we go advance, bring this all the way down like that. Yep, there it goes. You can actually save different names in there for the high scores. And say we're done. And I think if we go here, yep, now we can change it to advanced. You can see how it drops down a lot faster. So there you go. Classic game of Tetris hidden away in the 54600B oscilloscope. Not really something you find in modern oscilloscopes with all the software and processing power that oscilloscopes have. They don't really seem to hide games and things in them anymore, but Hewlett Packard thought it would be fun to do that back in the day. All right, so if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you enjoyed it. And until next time, take care. Goodbye for now.